Hi, my name's Midtown with DJ Studio, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the track editing features inside DJ Studio. To make the most when it comes to editing our tracks, we're going to need to first understand a little bit about song structure. Then we can understand how all the tools that DJ Studio have to offer can help us manipulate those songs, cut them up, and make our mixes even better. Of course, it's easy to get overwhelmed, but thanks to DJ Studio's integrations with Mixed and Key and Record Box, we can import both phrase analysis data and cue points to help navigate cutting up those songs. Before we jump in and start editing our tracks, we first need to understand how songs are broken down into musical phrases. This track is one of mine called Give It To Me and it's an extended edit so it starts with an intro. From there we go into a build, have a short section of vocal, also called the hook, before going into the drop or chorus. These are common building blocks used in dance music so let's break them down into definitive musical phrases. You probably already noticed here in the waveform during the intro, we add a bass line and some synth elements before making our way into the breakdown, which in this case is also a build. Similarly, a roundabout here, we notice a change in the waveform compared to at the beginning of the build, corresponding to a shift in the music and the energy, just like what happened partway through the intro. In other words, we can break these sections down into musical phrases using these shifts in energy and musical content. There's the first part of the intro that's quieter with less instrumentation. The waveform increases as we fill out the mix with bass and other elements of the track. These two parts of the intro are two musical phrases, so let's go ahead and name them intro part one and part two. We can do exactly the same for the build, halfway through the waveform increases as we pick up the energy going into the pre-drop hook. So let's call these two phrases part one and part two of our build. You might have already noticed that the duration of each of these first four phrases is the same. Today's video is about editing tracks, not music theory, but just know that in music we count in beats. When it comes to dance music, normally we count in loops of four, eight, 16 or 32. Each of these musical phrases happens to be 32 beats and counting out the number of beats can be a good indication to pick up on when these phrases or musical ideas repeat. A giveaway will also often be at the beginning or end of a phrase, you'll hear a repeated musical idea like this clap loop. As you can see by the duration of the pre-drop hook here, not all musical phrases are the same length though. This eight beat vocal is called a bridge, which is a type of phrase that is often used to connect musical ideas. Whether that's a big crash going from a drop to a breakdown, or in this case, a vocal after the build going into the drop. Understanding phrases along with the editing tools in DJ Studio will help you take full control and customize the structures of the songs that you mix. Let's check out this transition and start working with the editing tools. This first track is Lose Control by Cool Cool. Of course, mixing into my own track, Give It To Me. A little bit of volume automation and then an echo out at the end. Now, while the transition is fine, going into Give It To Me and the breakdown there, the energy level just kind of drops a little bit. So coming out of the intro, we're going to skip the first part of the breakdown here and go straight into the build. Now to do that, what we're going to want to do is highlight the section of the track that we want to edit. And we do that by pressing and holding the shift key. Our cursor turns into the selection tool here and we're able to left click and drag to select an area of the track. As soon as we let go of that left click, the context menu pops up here. Now if it disappears or something, don't worry, whenever you've got a selection made on a track, you just right click and it will bring back up this menu. We've got a couple options here, but for now, all I wanna do is just delete this section of the track. And to do that, I just press delete. All our automation and everything within the transition window has stayed exactly the same. We don't need to worry about that getting messed up. But now our section of the breakdown that we selected is deleted, it's gone, and the build has moved across to fill that gap. We've just deleted 32 beats of our song. Now we can have a listen to how that sounds. Okay, it's keeping the energy up, but I think that might be a little bit too abrupt. So we're just gonna hit Command or Control Z, and then I'm gonna hold Shift to make a selection again, and I'm gonna select four beats before the breakdown, and then end my selection four beats before the build. Again, the context menu pops up, and we'll press Delete. Now let's have a listen. By including that little four beat pre-roll, the hook with the vocal before the build, rather than just jumping straight into it, that's made that transition flow a lot better. In this case, I still feel like loose control kind of just like drops off a little bit too quickly. So we could play around with the echo or we could try looping loose control as we mix out of it. There is actually an effect for that too. I could just choose effect, loop out. And that's just gonna cut that up and apply a loop. And then we can sort of move around where the loop begins. But the problem is we're looping this part of the track. 
and there's a bit too much still going on. So let's turn off the loop out and rather than making a selection here, let's select and loop a later part of Lose Control. Zoom out and then if we click and drag over here, you can see in the waveform, there's some simpler parts of the track coming up in the outro. The waveform is grayed out though and that's because DJ Studio ignores any parts of the track after the transition window. Right now that presents a problem. So we'll just click and drag our transition window to extend it and let's have a listen to the later part of the track. Perfect, that's exactly what I need. Now to loop this part of the song over the build of Give It To Me, we could do that just by selecting and deleting again, but in the interest of showing you another tool, and also because I think this little bit of audio in here could be cool to use. What we'll do instead is press and hold shift, select part of the song, just the four beats should be enough, but let's grab eight just in case. And with the right click context menu, this time we'll choose cut. You could also choose copy, it really doesn't matter in this case. We just put our cursor where we want the loop to start, right click and choose paste. What DJ Studio has done is cut and pasted a section of the outro from later in the track to earlier in the track. Basically it works the same way as every other instance of cut, copy, paste. Now that we've got our section of the outro move, I'm gonna hold shift, highlight those first four beats, and this time I'm gonna select loop. In fact, I'm gonna loop it four times. One, two, three, four repeats of the loop plus the original four beats. I think we need to loop it one more time, so we'll just do that by pressing, holding shift and choosing loop. Then I'm gonna press and hold shift again to select the section after it, and I'm gonna select all the way up until that vocal sample that I liked, and now let's delete that. I think that should be all good. Let's unsolo the track so we can see if we've done everything right. And it looks like I'm one repeat out. One more loop. And there we go. Now that vocal sample is lining up right at the end of the build. To finish this up, I'm going to realign my transition window, put back in some volume automation, some EQ automation. Let's take a listen to our finished and edited tracks in their transition. A little percussion loop carrying on a little bit of the energy from loose control. Alright, now here comes that filtered vocal. Of course, it's all personal preference, but I think that works really well. The energy from Lose Control is carried over into Give It To Me, and that last little use of the vocal sample from Lose Control puts a neat little bow on the transition. Now let's jump over and take a listen to the second transition. Bass swap. Once again, that sounds absolutely fine. But let's really go crazy with these editing tools. As we transition into Danny Avelia's pushing, I'm gonna highlight and copy this four beats. I'll show you why in a minute. And then I'm gonna highlight those same four beats until four beats before the end of the transition window. Right click and choose delete. I like the horns that come later in the drop, but we're gonna keep the transition nice and tight here. So we'll bring them in earlier. Finally, I'm gonna take those four beats that I copied before, paste them and loop them over the build to really wind up the energy through the transition. Let's listen to it all together. Okay, so there's our first loop. Loop tightens up. The transitions sounded great before, but now they just sound like the songs are kind of merging into one. We can make editing our tracks even easier though with some visual cues. Let's look at turning on those integrations with Record Box and Mixed In Key. First of all, we'll want to make sure that Mixed In Key is activated. Click the settings cog, choose interface, and then under Mixed In Key, we can click to show cue points. Press the X to exit out here, and now DJ Studio shows the cue points that have been automatically created by Mixed In Key. And these cue points are placed at the beginning of phrases where it might be logical to mix either in or out of a song. Of course, things work much the same over with record box cue points. Whether they're hot cues or memory points, all we have to do in DJ Studio is click on that settings cog again, go down to interface, we'll turn off the mixed in key cue points so we don't get too confused and turn on record box cue points. And now you can see the red markers are denoting our memory points and the hot cues are displayed as you'd expect with A, B and C. This has the added benefit of you being able to place your cue points exactly where you want them. Final 
thing that we're going to look at today is record box phrase analysis and how we can view that inside of DJ Studio to help with editing tracks. Now to view phrase analysis, we're first going to need to have phrase analyzed our songs in record box. Depending on your settings, you may already have this analysis data or you may need to enable it. This track hasn't been analyzed with phrase analysis, so we'll right click on it and choose analyze track and then under analysis settings we've got BPM grid key and we want to turn on phrase. Just to note that this will enable phrase analysis for all songs that you import in future in record box. If at any point you change your mind about phrase analysis, just right click and analyze any track, uncheck phrases and press OK. Pushin has been reanalyzed and now you can see these colored bars under the waveform. And the colored bars are denoting the different phrases throughout the music. Depending on the song, these may or may not be perfect, but generally record box does a pretty good job of dividing up the different sections of the song. Of course, we can relabel some of those phrases if we want. Whenever you're ready, you can just jump back into DJ Studio, go to the settings cog, click interface, and under record box, this time we're going to enable phrases and we can choose either on or hover. I like hover and I'll show you why in just a second. We'll click the X and already you can see these little colored bars down the bottom of the track. And sure enough, when we hover over them, they pop up and they reveal those same phrases that we analyzed and in this case, renamed inside a record box. This is even more helpful than the cue points are because it creates these nice little blocks where we can understand this is the first part of our intro. This is the second part of our intro. This is the first part of our build. Here's our pre-drop hook. If phrases are just set to on, you'll see this bar appear down the bottom all the time. A bonus tip is we can actually use these phrases for selection. For example, I just hover over and click on the first part of this chorus. It instantly gets selected and we're ready to edit. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of song structure and how music is arranged and then how we can use the tools inside DJ Studio to edit your tracks, copy and paste sections, create loops of our very own and even delete entire phrases altogether. If you want to learn more, then you can always click on the little message bubble down the bottom right hand corner inside the application and then click help. Otherwise, in your web browser, just navigate to help.dj.studio. My name's Midtown Jack. This has been Editing Tracks in DJ Studio and I'll see you in the next video.